AI scientist Evelyn from the California Science Center here to help you feel a little less stuck at home. Now this week we have been exploring our Creative World Gallery and it is a really fun place. There's lots of things to look at and lots of things to explore. Now, yesterday we talked a little bit about light and vibrations. And when I went home and I thought about light a little bit more, I remembered that not all animals see the way that we see. And we have a really cool animal at the California Science Center that sees a little differently. But I am going to turn it over to Erin for her to tell us a little bit more about that. Thanks, Evelyn. <laughs> Hi, scientists. My name is Erin, and I'm a senior keeper here at the California Science Center. I brought down our military macaw. I want to talk to you guys about some of his really cool features. <laughs> we'll see if he wants to turn around or not. Hi. Hey. He has two eyes on the sides of his head, but you can see that they sit a little bit further back on his face than ours do on ours. This helps them because it allows them to see more than we can. When we look ahead, we can see what's in front of us and a little bit to the sides, but they're able to see all the way to the sides and all that they're missing is what's on the very back of their head, which just behind them. This helps them because when they hear something in the distance, they can already see what it is versus we have to turn our heads to look and see what's going on around us. He also has two ears on the sides of his head, just like we do, but you can't see his. He doesn't have external ear flaps like we do. He just has holes that lead straight to his ear canal, but they are all covered with feathers. So you're never going to see macaw ears. This helps them because when they're flying, it's going to keep out some of the wind and help with the noise. Macaw ears don't have as many bones as ours do, and so they can't hear sounds that are very low or very high, but they can hear well in the medium range, like my voice talking. Macaw ears also are not as sensitive as ours are. If we listen to loud noises for a long period of time, our ears will get damaged and they could get injured, but macaw ears are able to withstand that. And that's very good for them because they're very loud animals and they have a lot of very loud neighbors where they live in the rainforest. Some other really cool things about macaws are their feet and their beak. If you look at his feet, you can see that he has two toes that go forward and two toes that go backward. And that helps him grip onto objects and hold on really tightly. He can also use those feet kind of like hands. He can hold things in his feet, in his feet and you can see how he's using them to help him eat this food. His beak is long and curved, and so that helps him break open food items. Parrots can also move their upper part of their beak more than other birds, and so they can really open their mouth and chew down on big nuts to break them open. They can also rip through really tough fruit that they would be eating out in the rainforest. He can use his beak and his feet in combination to climb around in the trees, sort of like climbing up a ladder. He'll reach up with his beak and hold onto a branch, and then he can let go of the lower branch with his feet and pull them up and hold onto a high branch. He can rotate his feet so that his legs are all the way up like this in different directions. So he has a lot of flexibility to get around. There's one more cool thing I wanted to tell you about his eyes. Macaws can see ultraviolet light. That's light that comes from the sun. So they can see all the same colors that we can, but they can see it with more definition, but they can also see the colors that come from ultraviolet light. We feel that light when we walk outside, it might feel warm on our skin, but it allows parrots to see a whole new world that we can't see. And this is really good for them because they live in the rainforest where there are a lot of things to see. There are a lot of different colors of plants and animals and things around them. And so it's sort of similar to them seeing a very clear picture as opposed to a kind of blurry picture. Thank you so much for stopping by and listening to me talk about our macaw. Have a great day. Thanks, Erin. Super cool. So our military macaw is amazing and it sees the world in a totally different way than we do. Now, our eyes also have cells that help us see color and light goes in through our eye and it hits the back of our eye where all those cells are located. We call those cells cones and rods. Now I'm gonna show you a quick activity that you can do at home to try and play a trick on your eyes. Now for this activity, you're going to need some scissors, some glue or some tape, two pieces of white paper, one piece of green, red, or blue paper. If you have all three, even better, because you can test it out with each one. 
Now, as I looked around my home, I didn't have any colored paper, but I did find an old folder that I ended up cutting up to use for this activity. I'm also not that great at drying, but I did try. I started with a fish and my fish didn't look so great. So I decided to draw a bird and that looked much better. Now I gave my bird an eyeball and you are going to need that little eye. I'm gonna take my bird and I'm going to put it on a sheet of paper. So it's on a white background. Now, sometimes birds live in things that look like this. So I went ahead and I drew something like that as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stare at the eyeball of that blue bird. And you wanna be in a room that has a lot of white. Stare at it for about five seconds. And then you quickly turn over and look at that other sheet. And you might be able to see that bird. Isn't that cool? Now scientists, that's all I have for today. Thanks for stopping by and I hope you're feeling a little less stuck at home. See you next time. Be sure to visit our website Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. for more stuck at home science activities.